Hi Leos, welcome to my channel. We're doing your dailies. It's called the Buy Dailies. It's just, <laughs> I found a solution with the Eastern and Western Hemisphere, 18 and 19, okay, covering both energies, basically wherever you are in the world. Alrighty, so this is good. Good news is coming. That's what I feel here for you guys, Leo, especially my co-anchor is back over here. Well, I'm messing with you guys. I have my Oracle back. <laughs> Welcome, welcome. This is your daily sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Okay. Uh -huh. And Jupiter. Alrighty. Let's see what's going on for my Leos. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Leos. You're having a tower. What did I tell you? Good news. <laughs> it is a good news because this is an aha moment, right? This is like aha. Things are not good. Aha! It's a moment of awakening. Um, you know, because here's like this. If someone is lying to you, would you like, would you rather have be in the shadow forever that someone is lying? Okay, of course it's a breaking up, breaking apart, you know, breaking down, you know. It is difficult. I'm not gonna deny that. But this is when it goes down, it's gonna come up. So expect the good things to come right now. Okay. Not sure recording it. This is a lot of drama. Mm-mm. You guys have broken apart with someone, can be a Scorpio or Aries. Aries, and I said Aries, what it came out? The Emperor. <laughs> ah, the reads just become more and more accurate. Mm -hmm. Every day. With the Emperor over here, it's an energy where the person is trying to control a situation when things is about to fall off. Um, Google Beyonce and Jay-Z when they were in the elevator and they were falling down together with I forgot the sister's name but this is how it feels there can be betrayal and the other person is being just chill about it I'm good I'm good okay so this is that energy the emperor kind of empress energy both of them were non-reactive to the situation even things just fall apart both of you didn't react to it it went it went like crazy yes crazy there it is five of ones struggling to commit to the situation struggling to say yes um, this is when someone has inner conflict with the Five of Wands. Inner conflict on why things went down. Let's see here. Let's see the Emperor. Hierophant energy. Taurus. A situation. A situation that was in control got out of control. Hier Hierophant is structure. So there was an old structure over here. The foundation was BAM. The Emperor is still holding on to this. Someone is still holding on to the connection here, Leo. We still see the connection here. The other person is struggling to see the connection. A six of ones though. Five to the six over here. Someone is going to get out of the situation where it was a hopeless situation. If it's a song, I forgot a song about the hopeless situation, but there's a song about hopeless situation. Okay. I'm also hearing the song by Rihanna, We Found Love in the Hopeless Place. So I think both of you were not expecting to fall in love, Leo. You guys didn't see that coming. Of course, there it is. Major cards over here. My co-anchor. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. The world card is here. So this is the energy where things has wrapped up, especially with the world card, if it comes out, it's about wrapping up of a situation where all the majors are has happened. When I say all the majors has happened, you've experienced the worst, the best, the gruesome, you know, the life with this person. You experience it. The world card is all about the major arcana experience. You got me. Okay. When I say major arcana experience, um, this is in and in the relationship and outside the relationship. You're talking about getting your wishes. You're talking about getting, you know, the the death card in transformation. You know, these are big players in both of you guys' life. Okay. Now, as this person has evolved, there's, this is someone who's who's holding onto the situation and evolving in it. Someone here could be probably in their Saturn, in their um, Saturn, in their seventh. Oh, I know what that means. One is in Saturn in their seventh house. The other person is Saturn in their first house. There's a lot of lesson. Um, in the fifth house over here, there's trouble about romance, and the other person probably is just about only romance, Leos. Um, however, because they see themselves as you know in the part of that romance, it's like that's where they feel like well. I'm worth it, and this is who I am, and I'm about romancing people. 
Sheesh, where am I? Okay, Leos. I'm gonna continue this reading <laughs> as you move forward, Leos. Okay. This energy is that romance part. They want to claim victory with it. They're struggling to make it a success, but they see that they're still a success. The other person is learning something in the situation, and it's about to go good because this is the bad. It's about to go good. All right. Thank you very much, Leos, for watching. I see you guys again. This is your by dailies 18 and the 19. Good morning, America. Good morning, world. Bye. Hit it! That's what I'm talking about. Wait! Okay, now. From the beginning. Hit it, boys.